welcome to TEDxYYC. I'm Michelle Sklar. We're here at the Grand Theater. It's been an unbelievable event. And I'm joined by one of our speakers, Megan McElhern. Thank you so much, Dr. Megan McElhern, who's a doctor of psychology and particularly um, works with uh, patients in uh, coming out of a trauma, post-traumatic stress syndrome. Yes. So that was an amazing presentation that you gave. Thank you. And um, I think that you touch the hearts and minds of every single person that was in that audience. And it's hard in this interview, to be honest with you, to really convey what that experience was like. Um, so I'm going to let you do that. <laughs> <laughs> um, my experience or the experience of the audience? Um, just some of the, um, I guess, touch points that you hope were conveyed. Um, to me, the big takeaway is that uh, we're all in this together, right? I mean, I think the the hope is that people get, you know, can get through life without having to experience like some of the things I described. And the reality is that we're we are all um, vulnerable to this kind of thing. But in that vulnerability, I also think there's incredible power and incredible strength. And I hope I conveyed that. And I hope that um, that's something that people will take away with them from what I said. I think for me, you know, one of the first statements that you made about you know trauma is the great equalizer. And one of the things that got me thinking about that when, when, when you made that statement was the fact that you were part of our speaker um, lineup today is so important because I think that half the battle is being mentally prepared for life. And it's interesting, you know, I feel that a lot of my peers who are at the stages with early families, I'm, I even heard a story yesterday about how there's very few swing sets in parks in Calgary today. And I remember growing up with swing sets and how much I enjoyed that experience. And so I feel sometimes that we spend so much time trying to isolate and uh, shield people from any possible badness yeah. that perhaps it will be counterproductive because we cut ourselves off from experience. And it's not that trauma is a positive experience, it's just part of what shapes us. And prepares us for all sorts of other inevitable things that we're going to have to cope with. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, absolutely. And I think, you know, I talked about the happiness myth today, but I also think there's a myth around control. And I think the idea that you're talking about is that, you know, if we just take away all the swing sets, then kids won't get hurt in playgrounds. Well, you know, then you got to take away slides and then you have to take away gravel. And then before you know it, everybody's just sitting in their own houses, looking out the window, you know, afraid to do anything, right? And and that's what I talk about when I say there, there's a choice that has to be made about walking through this world when there are things that can't be controlled and bad things can happen. Um, I hope she would be okay with my saying this. I just spoke with a woman after my speech who talked about having lost her child and the incredible pain of that but also the liberation in that because she now knows um, having gone through that, she can get through anything. And, and I think that's the piece. People underestimate their ability, actually, to, to deal with loss and grief and uncertainty and fear. And um, I think that fear of fear is what drives people to separate. And, and as I said in my speech, that to me is the crucial issue. I think one of the other salient points is the that you spoke about was just that importance of connection. You know, and how when you do go through a traumatic experience that you tend to disconnect further and further and further away from the world because of that fear, but that really the lesson here for me was how important it is to stay connected to people. So I would think, therefore, in the spirit of what we're doing here at, at the TED Con, TEDx conference is finding community and connecting with people and finding different ways to connect with people regardless of what those interests are means that you are out there and engaging to not hopefully be alone. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the reality is maybe maybe people aren't going to ever experience a trauma like could develop post-traumatic stress disorder, and let's hope not, right? And I mean, and the reality is that's not the case. Um, rates of PTSD are, are small in the community. Um, but, pe but people go through challenging things all the time. And I think the ability, as I said, to kind of deal with and get through the challenging things that every life holds um, is made easier if you have people to walk through those things with, if you have people to lean on for support. You know, when I, not to get too academic, but I mean, when you look at the research and you look at, you know, people who go through um, breast cancer, people who go through loss of a child, people who go through any number of, of life events, um, they do better and they get through it with more meaning uh, when they have people that they can connect with and share that with, you know, and there's more danger to being alone and being isolated. So let me ask you as a final question here, Megan, I mean, you obviously had a chance to listen as well as participate. You've had a chance to connect up with some new faces. Is there a takeaway for you so far? Um, 
I mean, I just am loving the diversity of what people are saying. And I think the, the part to me is that we're all connected here in this human experience. I mean, everyone that's talked today um, has that theme of humanity that they're bringing through, however it is, whether they're an engineer, or whether they're a, a fine arts professor. So, I mean, we are all human. That's it. Awesome. Yeah. Thanks for joining us, Megan. Here at TEDxYYC, I'm Michelle Sklar.